What is up everybody? I moved to Los Angeles one year ago today and today I'm going to be teaching you about the things that I've learned while I've been out here. And for all of you guys that have been following this journey from the beginning, I'm going to be explaining where I have been and what I've been up to. And I'm sure there's a very high chance that you may be very confused about what's been going on since I've been out here. But I'm going to get into that in just a second. So basically when I first moved out here, I made a big video about me moving out here and about everything going on in my life at the time. And it's been one year since then. So today we're going to watch the video again to just show like the progress that I've been making in my life. Man, I, I haven't watched this video in a while, so I feel like I have so much explaining to do. Let's just get right into it, honestly. This video has the potential to change your life forever the same way mine has been changed. LA, baby. LA. Yo, that, that shot of LA was in the ghetto, actually, which is pretty funny. But it looks nice. It looks nice. Ever since I was a little kid, I always knew I wanted to make videos and create for a living. I knew that was what I wanted to do with my life. As I grew up, I continued to carry on the same passion, but it became much harder to live for. In high school, I didn't get along with near anyone. I was made fun of. I was different from everyone else. I couldn't even focus in school because I hated it so much. I knew there was more to life than partying and getting a boring 9 to 5 job like everyone else has. I literally couldn't focus in school at all. I hated school with all my life. I did not like it school was working towards. All of society was telling me that that is what I had to do with my life and that anything else I would do would lead to failure. School was lonely and it put me in a really bad headspace. My teachers would tell me that I would fail. I would never make it. I just went back home to Maryland. I saw some of my friends that were, uh, that they went to college and stuff and they're like all telling me that they're experiencing very similar things now and like they're just like freaking out. I don't know, it's different for everyone. School is a good way to go for a majority of people. I was extremely depressed with very little real friends, but I knew that I wanted to make videos. I knew I had to keep working on these videos and never give up, no matter how many people were against me. So I did. Ooh, look at that shot. After high school, I turned down the opportunity to work for my successful family business where I would immediately become very rich. Because I yeah, knew that I did. was. Well, it sounds kind of weird saying that. But I did. I turned down an opportunity to work for. Uh, I turned down a pretty crazy job opportunity. That's all I'm going to say. What I want to do with my life. I dropped out of college after two months of attending and traveled the United States doing whatever my heart desired with all the money I had saved up. <laughs> I took risks. I did some pretty crazy Yo, that was freaking cold water. Things. I visited some beautiful places to see what the world had to offer. And with everything I did, I'd make cool videos and post them on the internet for the world to see. I would post videos weekly, hoping that this career that I had always dreamed of living would come true. However, this dream life that I was living was not the dream life that I thought it would be at all. Over time, I realized that the lonely and depressed mental state that I once had in high school crawled right back into my life. I was still depressed and lonely. I would try to do things to numb the pain, but nothing helps. I became friends with some really unhealthy people that ended up being bad influences in my life. I felt lost, empty, and meaningless. I would have suicidal thoughts at times. I got into a lot of bad situations, and it really messed me up, but I knew that I could never give up. Eventually, I started to come towards God and strayed away from all these things that were hurting me. Yeah, so I actually, uh, I changed the title of this video. I posted this video on two different channels. This is my, like, real, like, authentic channel that you guys are seeing this video on. And when I reposted it on uh, this video, I decided to change the title of the video. Following God changed my life forever. Instead of following my dreams, changing my life forever. Because the dreams thing, it was just like, pretty stupid. Which has now led me feeling to the best I've ever been in my life. I knew that if I had the power to get out of that horrible season in my life, then I had the power to overcome anything imaginable. I've learned that there are so many people out there that have similar stories to me. They feel like outcasts, they'll never fit in, that they are worthless. And sadly, society loves to make people feel that way. As I've grown in my life, I've learned that society is full of lies. Society places rules and restrictions on you, and looks down on you if you do not conform and behave a certain way. I have learned not to care about what society thinks anymore, but 
rather take pride in the fact that I can see the truth of life in society that nobody else can see. I'm it's a hard, lonely path, but I know that it's was my it. starting right now. That was by accident. It's oh, a hard, no. lonely path, but I know it's worth it. Starting right now, I'm currently flying out to Los Angeles with the very little amount of money that I've saved up. I'm moving into an apartment that I cannot afford. My apartment is not big enough, so I'm going to be sleeping on the floor. Yeah, so I straight up moved out to LA. I didn't have that much money. I thought I was going to be sleeping on the floor. Luckily, uh, I slept on a couch. Over the length of this last year, I lived in like probably nine different Airbnbs. It was insanity. And Airbnbs were so expensive that I was just blowing money nonstop. And it was actually like disgusting because Airbnb is way more expensive than uh, getting like a lease on a place. And I like finally just recently moved into a house with some of my friends. I know I'm putting myself in an extremely hard situation, but that is the whole point. I want to be 100% real with you. I want to prove to you that sometimes you have to break society rules and be put in a very hard situation in order to be successful and get what you want with life. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, I like forced myself into this situation. I know it hasn't been documented the best. Like this last year has been freaking insane. I don't know, it's the craziest year of my life. I'm gonna get into it in a sec. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna be successful in Los Angeles, but what I do know is that starting tomorrow, yo, I don't know how I'm gonna be successful. Guys, the reason I moved out here was to force myself to figure out what I was gonna do like with my life. Not the whole reason I moved out here, but uh, partially. So I was like making exploring videos at the time, TikTok videos and YouTube videos. And I had like a career set out for me in that sense. Like I could do exploring full time on social media if I really wanted to. But I decided to turn that down. When I decided to turn that down, that was the same time that I was freaking moving to Los Angeles. And that was like my main source of income. So when I moved out here, I had like no source of income. And I was freaking out like big time. I made money some pretty interesting ways. I figured it out for the most part, somewhat. No, honestly, I'm still broke, but I'm st I'm still alive and I'm still here. So that's what matters. I'm going to start vlogging every single day and bring you guys on my journey. Start vlogging every single day and bring you on the journey. All right. I vlogged every single day for like two months. That was the hardest thing in my life. But the thing is, I was like forcing myself to try new things every single day. I kept learning so fast. I was testing out things that I wanted to do on social media. I literally... I was thinking about making fitness videos at one point, like doing workout stuff. I tried doing like uh, workout challenges or workout videos. And like I decided that it wasn't going to work. There was a point in time where I thought maybe I was going to make like surfing vlogs or something. And then I had to make those videos to fully figure out and realize that that wasn't what I wanted to do. Basically, I tested out tons of things with these videos that I was making over like the past year. I haven't made a video in six months. It's actually a really good reason why. It's actually a great reason why. I'm gonna get into that in a second. And I want you to learn with me and experience with me what others are too afraid to do. I wanna bring you guys the truth and show this thing called life from a new perspective. I decided that I would like to start a community of like-minded people who are not afraid to break the rules. People who are willing to be themselves. People who seek the truth. And that's when I decided to come out with role models. <laughs> Role model is a community and lifestyle in which you live life to the fullest, not afraid to break the rules, and 100% being you. I hope to turn this into something massive that allows me to help people all around the world. And if you guys would like to check it out, it's going to be the first link in the description. And of course, none of this would be happening if I wasn't blessed with this vision. Amen. Yo, what? I didn't know I ended it like that. That's funny. Role model is role model is the best thing I've ever created in my life. What's up, guys? I know that if you're watching to this point in the video, then you are a real one. And I want to let you guys know that those shirts that I was just showing you guys and talking about, they're going to be 100% off for the next three days. I want to give you guys a real opportunity to check them out and uh, see what it's all about. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Dang, yo. Yeah, I remember the freaking shirts. A lot of people got them, and I was super hyped about it. A lot of people, I got some good uh, responses. I remember a bunch of people were like angry at me. They're like, you're making money off these shirts. But no, I made zero dollars off of those shirts. And I plan on continuing that when I release my next role model drop. Up until six months ago, I was vlogging. And you guys can really see 
what I was doing with my life. If you go back and watch the videos, but I I've learned so freaking much, so much since I've been out here. It's insane. It's just been like really surreal. Like this video says, following God, following God changed my life forever. I became uh, closer to God, you know, than I ever have in my life. And I plan on having that carry through all the way through 2022. I've learned a lot about myself and I've continued to grow my relationship with God, which is the biggest, which has had the biggest impact on me, 100%. As of six months ago, you guys know what I've been up to the vlogs. And I don't know where I randomly just stopped making videos. Me not making videos does not correlate with me not like putting in tons of work into my goals. At the time, I was trying to determine what's more important, me making these vlog videos for this channel or me putting work into this thing. I determined at the time that it was more important to me, it was more important for me to put work into this thing. This thing is something that I've created that could potentially lead me to be financially free for the rest of my life. I know that sounds funny to potentially, potentially, potentially multi-million dollar idea. I don't know. Maybe it's a baby. It's zero dollars. Maybe it just goes down to zero. Who knows? But I know that if I put all my effort into this, it'll be 100% worth it because then I'll be able to put so much more effort into making videos like this, teaching you guys. I can't explain exactly what I've been working on, but if you just take a look at my other YouTube channel, my old, my old vlogging channel, you know, things have switched up quite a bit on that channel. If you take a look at it, I think you'll get a uh, general idea of what I'm going to do, uh, a brief idea of what I'm going to do. And that is where all of my work is going. And it's going to be like that for the next few months, most likely, just like straight up all my work dedicated to that. You're going to see that reflected on this YouTube channel. And until I'm happy with the state of the secret project, then that is when I'm going to start uploading on this channel very often. Basically, I'm super like insanely freaking hyped. I'm like actually organized now. A year later, I'm finally organized. I know what I'm doing with my life. And on my TikTok account, this took me forever to figure out too. I'm not going to be doing exploring on my TikTok account anymore. I'm, I'm switching over to comedy. <laughs> like I said before, I had to test out a bunch of things. I had to pray about it a bunch. And I decided I'm going to do comedy. We're going to see where all this leads me. I might be homeless in a month. Who knows? But I see a lot of potential. And if I'm praying about it and I'm getting answers, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start posting on this channel again. It's not going to be super often. Like, I'm just going to do it as much as I can. If you guys just look at the other channel, you understand why it's going to be hard for me to post on this channel. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to talk to you in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> like, subscribe for more. Peace.